You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Caffeine, watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Yes, this is Becky Kenny Chris, and you're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. This is Poo Poo from Moreno Valley, and you're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Hey, this is KG Sports, and you're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Hey, yo! Hey, Hot Facts with Robert Reese, man. This, this your boy Dash Man, the cool tapping in with you, brother. Hey, um, shit, I'm right here on the, on a break in my dash right now, getting busy, but I figured I'd tap in before I eat some grub real quick. But yo, man, I like your channel, like what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we share some of the same ideas as far as, like, how to navigate this gig market. Um, So just tapping in, showing love, man. I seen your comment. Finally got a chance to hit you, bro. Whenever you get a chance back, man, just holler, man, for sure, man. Love, bro. Be safe. I'm going to do this right now. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Most people are going to say, isn't Monday the holiday? Yeah, Monday is the freaking substituted holiday, but today is the day. Happy Juneteenth to everybody out there. Everybody that makes videos and content that always says, Happy Columbus Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy all these other days that are from other places. Let's see how many of these content creators actually say happy Juneteenth to everyone. So to all my people out there, to all the people all over, Juneteenth, you should not think in, in your head, this is only a black day. This is a day for everyone to come in and learn, get some information that you never had, and be part of something special, okay? If you have never been a part of something special, this is the thing right now to be part of. Step into a whole new life. Eat some food. Celebrate. Learn some stories. Then share a story. That's what it's all about. Happy Juneteenth to everybody. It's all the extra I got in my pocket right here. It's like a dollar twenty-five or something. Shit, good looking, bro. Man, ho I, hey, that hopefully that starts somebody else, man. Uh, good luck on getting there for your son on Father's Day, G. Man, I'm trying to, but shit, if not, he know I love him. Shit. Right. I'm there for more than just today, so I'm not even right. tripping. It's just weird that you know I would, you know. Give her gas money, you know what I'm saying? Take her to go eat, get her a little balloon with the little card and stuff like that. Then send her home with a few dollars and stuff like that. But then it's like... Yeah, that's that Father's Day thing. It's like a... It's like a... Though. It's like a day that... They, I don't know what it is. They do everything for Mother's Day. And then Father's Day is forgetful. That's you know what, what I mean? I said. I said, we don't even got no little vendors on the street for us. We supposed to be more positive today because it's Juneteenth and Father's Day on the same day. That's, that should mean more love to us. Just for today. Nah, just for today. They gave it fuck that three weeks after George Floyd got killed. Right. Man. After that, just like every other fucking nigga. Question, sir. I just gave him a, 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 a dollar for gas, right? He's trying to go see his son for Father's Day. And he's and I gave him a dollar. That's all the change I, I'm had. Do you have a dollar that you might be able to give him? That, yeah, see, yeah, so. Yeah, this one. This one. Oh, that's your, oh, that's you at the beach. Yeah. Getting down with them. <laughs> Hopefully you can get there, man. Yeah. What he doesn't know is that he showed me a picture of him and his son. He's trying to get there. He actually said that how, you know, Mother's Day gave some, gave some money after the car, the flowers, and he's just trying to get out there. See, an argument can even make, you know what? Some women, look, women, you cannot do that stuff, man. He don't even know that I'm finna go ahead and, and uh, get him some gas to get up there and see his son. It's Father's Day and Juneteenth. Some women will try to mess up a dude's day purposely. Don't do that stuff and don't hold your kid hostage. All right, let me get, um, let me get, I gave him a dollar in change. Let me get $8 on number six. Okay. And that's it. All right, Chief, look, man. I pulled me a little string in there. You got eight bucks on the pump. You, you got eight bucks. Check. You got eight bucks on the pump.
You got eight bucks on the pump. I really appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. One love, man. Happy Father's Day, man. You too, bro. Thank you. 748. First one you get, first one you take because that could be the one that can lead to something great. $8.91. IHOP. I'm already right here. I was driving right here. And I'm right here. So that's not bad. $8.91. Gonna drop this order off. For all of you that are brand new, I take the first order of every ship that I do. First one you get, the first one you take, because that could be the one that leads to something great. That's what we gotta do right there. The first one could be the one that leads you to that really great tip. It can lead to a positive person that you speak to. It can lead to a lot of positive things. The first one get i take it and also the very last one i don't try to wait and say well let me pick the right one for my last very last one i get when i say this is the last one that is the last one and i take that one also because that can be a chance that i can actually milk the clock and give me a little extra because i won't make what they say i'm, I'm gonna make so now let me park right here in my parking spot let's run in here and get this order let's go get it we are driving to the Skechers, the Skechers warehouse, to go drop this off. Looks like it's going to be uh, something for three people here. Not bad, not bad. Skechers, this is the only Skechers warehouse for around the world, people. So that's where we are going. Man, just help the dude out. He hopped right on the freeway. We're going to see his son. Yeah, boy. That's how the day was supposed to be gone. This way. Okay, so we get one, two, okay, three. So we'll go here, go there. And I got two of that. So here's my truck. So go back. And we'll hit him back. Okay. All right, everybody. He had me drive all over the place. He said he was at the shipping and receiving dock. Went there, had to check in with security. Checked in with two security guards. Then security finally, I got him on speakerphone. He found the dude. He's way down here. I took my damn mask off. I took it off. Sorry. You can't breathe over here with that mask on. I said, man, I had it on to try to do it enough. He stayed outside the car. That's six feet. This car stuck in a ditch on Father's Day. Hot facts. Hot facts. I'm away from the scene. This is going to be a police altercation. Yes? How come? I know the road is blocked. That's why I'm not in my vehicle. I know the road is blocked. That's why I'm not in my vehicle anymore. I'm not going straight anymore. I'm not proceeding to go straight okay, anymore. Well then can you get out of the road? Can you yeah. Break on the jerk shoulder, please? Yeah. I, well, that's what I was. I, this is hot facts with Robert Reese. I'm reporting this. I don't want to be stuck like this car here and going to the. Be stuck if you so other cars can make a U-turn. Alright, alright, I can you don't have to be you don't have to have an attitude. Alright, I, I got you. I'm gonna move it to the side. Alright, thank you. Go ahead and get back in your car. I'm and going you just it. asked me, right? I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to move right. it to the side. Uh, I hear you. Alright, all right. so we don't have to point fingers and say, okay, get in your car. I'm going to get in the car. When you are, just, you, are you are you talking? So you can go back in your car. I, and move once I'm done, once I'm, you don't have to, you keep talking to me before I can go and get inside the car. Go I'm going to walk. Okay. Officer, badge number, badge number. 7112. Go ahead and get in your car. All right. That's what I'm doing. All right. All right. All right. Make a U-turn. They've been stuck there for a while, people. I'm going to get in the car and pull over. I'm going to record this from a distance from way back here because I don't want to interact with this police officer at all. Father's Day Blues. Got an order. In the middle of an order. When I was going to drop off my order, this car was just stuck in the ditch. I don't know how it got stuck in the ditch, but it is there rude police officer i was not trying to be stuck right there but i didn't move to safety she's telling someone else to make a u-turn you got to go back and i was head east on ironwood avenue all right i'm out of here people hello i'm picking up the uber eats order for tara okay Thank you. 
So I'm gonna put up a screenshot right now. After the consultation I gave to the dude, he tipped me extra. The guy after him tipped me extra. I'm gonna put up a screenshot of that now. Now right now, my very first order was $8 and some change. The base of that was $3.68. They ended up uh, with their tip, it was $8 and some change. Now they tipped me an extra two bucks on top of that. So people, screenshot of that there. People, I get extra money all the time from the people okay now when they know who you are and they look at your face on the app they instantly go and do it because you do the same thing for them every time i don't have to interact with some of the people some of the people switch from meet me at doors and they put it to leave at doors because they know i know exactly where they are i follow all the instructions and they instantly just give me that tip and it's there okay cash tip cheat codes are real most people use it as clickbait i'm telling you the real do something about it we got a black bear diner uh delivery i just got the buzz right now it's a five dollar order so not bad not bad the last two orders have been five bucks the first one was ten the other one was nine so that is actually not that bad people let's go get this black bear diner was looking busy over excuse me 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 very busy they gave me another order right after i dropped it off i'm up here at the country kitchen 13 dollars and nine cents it's very busy it's 9 30 a.m still people Bell, party three. i got you right here chief yeah boy yeah boy i got you right here y'all one of my regulars enjoy it my man have a good one. What's up, Calvin? Uh, I didn't hear you been looking for me, man. I, had, I came in to say happy Father's Day. I said, I'm driving by right now. I said, let me make sure I stop in because I'm driving by. Happy Father's Day to you, Calvin, man. Happy Father's Day. On the screen. Yes, somebody's break time in McDonald's. Yeah, the manager says she don't need a break. She said, yes, I do need a break. So she go take her break. She had to call them out on that. See, they tried to sneak her from her taking her break, and she heard them talking. She caught her. Good employees, stick up for your rights. Father's Day is crazy right now. I'm, I still got this McDonald's right here, and they just gave me a $10.72 order for Yoshinoya, and I'm going to pick it up and drop it off. I'm going right here to drop it off. Yoshinoya is going to be up like less than a mile. Then I'm going to drop it off right back right there. Not bad. 10.32 a.m. This is going to be order number seven after I drop off that, um, that Yoshinoya. Not bad. Moving good on Father's Day. A lot of crazy stuff I've seen. Hmm. Good video, I guess. Happy Juneteenth to you. Happy Juneteenth. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. She told me Happy Father's Day, too. Happy Juneteenth and Happy Father's Day to y'all now. Hello. I think I have to away. I hit the link for them to uh, get their timer. They didn't give me the apartment number. I'm right here, but they gave me a $6 order. That's right across the street at Jack in the Box. I'm going to get that one off after this one, too. That's going to be order number eight. It is uh, 10... 46 a.m. Still moving good, but they got to come on outside. I don't know where to drop, drop it off. I'm right here. They see I'm here. There's eight apartments here. I'm just going to let the timer go on off. I'm not going to go just knock on all these doors. I already tried to call, and it does that thing to where you can't even get in contact with them. So once this timer goes off, I'm leaving this food right in the front by where the address is. Customers, I got to hold you accountable. Hello. So the order was not in the system. Um, I thought I got here first. It was not. So I showed them the phone. They went and put the order in. And it's going to the customer, people. It's just like that. Get this money in. Hot facts with Robert Reese. 
think I found it, what most people are talking about, about Uber Eats. When they say they hide your tip, if it's over $8, look at the base pay on this and look at how much it was, it was three bucks. The customer tipped me all this on it. Now, because I'm a diamond driver, I see all of this up front. So they still don't hide any tips to me. Maybe you guys should get to that level where you can see it all. Cause it would have said $3.07 order. You guys would have not took it and it's a 1047. But that's what I know that when you're a diamond drive driver, they show it to you up front. It showed me the 1074. So maybe you guys just gotta work on your game. All right, people, unless I get one right now, I am gonna be taking my first break right now. I'm going home, sit in my drawers and watch TV. It's Father's Day and Juneteenth, okay? So until then, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is KG Sports and you're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. <laughs>